Hi, how you doing? For those of you who don't know, I'm Ryan. For those of you who do know, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by again. Uh, I have a couple things to talk about tonight. First of all, I need to thank the Hughes and the Webbers for putting on an awesome wedding. I had a really, really great time. I got to see a lot of my friends I haven't seen in a while. And um, I made out with a girl, which is always nice. What we are going to talk about tonight is... my foot. So uh, I'm sure you're all asking yourselves right now, what the hell happened to my foot? Well, that's a funny story. I'm glad you asked. So where to begin? So we begin with the personal stuff. So just recently, I got dumped by my girlfriend of a year and a half. It was a pretty serious relationship. Uh, we like lived together for a year, and uh, then she dumped me. Um, yeah. It was kind of a bummer. So what this means is I have to start dating again. And uh, I haven't really gone on a date in like, oh, I don't know, about a year and a half. Because, you know, when you have a girlfriend, you don't really go on dates. You kind of go out together. But, you know, they're not dates and you don't really worry about them or anything like that. So I need to start dating again. And I have no idea where to take a girl on a date. My friend tells me about this place in the woods to like, it's a good place for a first date to take a girl. So I want to go check it out. Um, but he doesn't really tell me exactly where it is. So I end up running around the woods for like four hours looking for this place. And I don't really run. The reason I don't run is comes up sometimes when I like run too much, I get like stress fractures on my foot. And I ended up like running around because I was lost and all this kind of stuff for like four hours. So I uh, wake up the next morning and lo and behold, my foot fucking hurts. Uh, this happened to me before. So I figured out how to like stop this from, like, to stop the pain. So what I do, yeah, so instead of taking a normal step, like so, what I do is I do this, like, little limpy thing. It's, it's, I just step on, you know, like, my toe like this, and I go, you know, and I do that. So whatever. So I never ended up taking a girl there, but that's not really the point of the story. The point of that story is that now I'm limping like an idiot. I did actually have a real date planned with a real girl for a different place. See, I go to UCLA, and the town around UCLA is in Westwood. But I've never actually lived in Westwood because I'm a graduate student and I try to avoid kind of the college scene at all costs. This girl mentions one time that, you know, she was interested in checking out Westwood. And, you know, so when I was trying to put together a first date, I was like, oh, this would be perfect. I'll take her out to Westwood. And, you know, it's a great place to take a girl. Except there's only one problem. I don't know anything about Westwood. And I'm a diligent person, so... I really feel the need to like go walk around Westwood with my hobbling foot to get prepared for this date. So while I'm doing this, I'm doing other things as well. Um, I need to get some thank you cards because I had some people I wanted to thank. So I stop in to Rite Aid and I buy some thank you cards. And I come out of Rite Aid and I'm kind of walking around, like looking around, looking for restaurants and this kind of thing. And uh, all of a sudden, like the pavement is kind of like this. And it's like up on one side. And um, I'm, like, doing my hobbling walk on the front, like, keeping my heel off the ground. And um, so if this were my big toe and this is the pavement, it goes, bam, right? It came, goes right in my big toe, bam, like that. And I nailed it. And it, like, it, like, cut it, like, pretty good. And so I'm, like, wearing sandals, and I'm bleeding all over the place. Like, the blood is, like, pooling up in my sandal. And I'm walking down the street, I'm like, oh, fuck. And I, I, re I realize, like... There's no way that, like, I can, like, continue walking like this. I'm just tracking blood everywhere. Like, I need to, like, you know, bandage this up. And I'd just gotten out of Rite Aid, so I, uh, I decided to go back into Rite Aid and uh, grab some uh, bandage bandages. So I'm trying to get the hell out of Rite Aid as fast as possible because I don't want everyone to notice this trail of blood that I'm, like, leaving through the store. And I don't want, like, some guy to be like, dude, what the hell are you doing bleeding in my store? Please get the hell out of here. So, like, I hobble over to the bandage section quickly as possible, and I grab two things. I grab some finger gauze and some athletic tape. Because there's no way that a band-aid, just a, like a band-aid, is going to, like, do any good. So, I go out to this bench on the street with my finger gauze and my athletic tape in hand, and I, like, take my toe, and I, like, wrap the finger gauze around it, and I start taping up my toe. And, um, yeah. And so, I do this in the matter of, like, 20 seconds, my sandal is still covered in blood, and I put my thing back on, and I go, and of course, being diligent, I finish another, like, hour of walking around Westwood getting oriented with it. 
So, that's what happened to my foot. And you may all be wondering what exactly happened to um, my second toe. Well, since I taped the first toe in a matter of 20 seconds, the tape ends up giving me a blister <laughs> on my freaking second toe. And, um, yeah, so then I had to put tape around that to, like, stop the blister from getting any worse. Dude, I don't even want to talk about it. So you may all be uh, wondering about how my second date went. Well, it was really good. She canceled on me. <laughs> so I guess the point of all of this is that I feel emotionally ready to date. I really do. But I don't think I'm physically ready to go on any dates. Um, my foot can't take it. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourself.